What's going on guys, Scott Dean Power Building Fitness here bringing you my first workout video um, after my World Championships meet so it took about 10 days off to let the body recuperate and recover after all the heavy training leading up to the meet and then the meet itself so kicking off here my first workout as you can see here is a max effort lower um, front squat variation so basically the new program that I'm running is a modified conjugate method basically the same modifications that um, the YouTube channel Master X, Simon and Garrett over there um, have I basically looked at their videos and basically made my own program off that and sort of tailored things to myself and my own weaknesses so um, yeah so max effort lower we're kicking off with and I decided to use front squat as the variation I never really do front squats and um, I just thought it'd be a great variation since I don't do them to walk up to a heavy single so as you see there I believe that was 100 kilo for an easy single then I believe I went 1 of 5, 110, 115, 120 and then we finished off with a top set of 122.5 kilo which isn't too bad considering I haven't done front squats in about um, 6 months I would say, I'd say about 6 months and um, <coughs> considering this is only my first uh, training day back um, after me so after 10 days I come back and I'm able to hit this so it wasn't too bad at all um, I believe that was, what was that, was that the 110 there, is this, I believe this could be the last set um, I can't actually see the weight from here. Let's go ahead and see. Yeah, so this is the tall weight. No, I think that was the 115. I'm getting so confused here, guys. Sorry about this. Um, I believe, no, this is the, yeah, this is the 120. So this is the second last set, as you can see. And um, when I was having a bit of trouble with the front squats, I was having, as you can see here, I have to like sort of cross my arms. Um, most people are able to do it like sort of Olympic style and um, I can't really do that and the bar was kind of rolling forward you can't see there and as you see there my knees are kind of coming forward on the right hand side it's kind of caving in as well and um, so after the 122.5 as you'll see here it wasn't really um, a strength issue it was more of a form and technique issue and um, so moving forward next time I do this variation whenever it is uh, I really want to work on form and technique on these front squats so uh, as you can see here this is the top set 122.5 kilo as I said there nice and deep as you see there I kind of came forward my knees came in and it wasn't really um as nice as I would have liked it um, and I just cut it off there because I didn't want to injure myself on the first day back so from there what we have to do is after walking up to the max effort you have to do 80% for 5 sets of 3 or 3 sets of 5 on this day I decided to do 3 sets of 5 and um, so that worked out to be 80% of the 122.5 was about uh, 97 and a half kilo there and I done as I said three sets of five on the first two sets I got it and on the last set I got a F4 and then I didn't do the fifth rep because as I said I was having trouble with the bar kind of rolling forward and it was really hard to try and keep my arms up and um, as I said uh, the way that I have to front squat because I can't do it the sort of normal way with your elbows up and holding it with your fingertips and um, my mobility in my arms my shoulders and my wrists just don't allow me to do that and um, so I just cut it at four reps and uh, just left it there you know there was no point going for that fifth rep and potentially like completely messing myself over as well considering this is only my first day back but I'm, I'm really happy with how it went Um, I was sore for the next week after this and um, my second uh, leg session of the week I was still going and I was still sore which is expected and um, after taking 10 days off so the way this program is going to work is we're going to have a max effort lower day upper day and um, uh, two dynamic days and in between them we'll have some uh, hyper back and bicep days so I'm gonna go uh, and record I've recorded all that and um, it's actually the end of the week as I'm doing this voiceover because I've had a little trouble with my editing software and I haven't been able to get anything out um, so yeah I'm just gonna record every workout uh, for the next I believe it's like an eight week cycle and show you guys every single workout so from there we moved on to just some deadlifts so today I decided to do a deadlift sort of variation uh, to walk on my speed off the ground of sumo because if anyone that pulled sumo knows sumo is naturally quite slow off the ground so this is about I'd say it's about one to one and a half inch deficit just standing on 15 kilo plates and I kept the weight at 140 kilo about 70% of my uh, deficit max and um, I'll put my deficit max at around 200 kilo um, around 70% which worked out to be 140 kilo and I just done three sets of eight and um, so really high volume so the start of uh, this sort of cycle um, is going to be really high volume and as we go on the uh, volume will go down the intensity will go up and um, slight background in there as you see but that's natural to see on a deficit as uh, you are naturally gonna have to go uh, deeper to pick up the weight it increases the range of motion which is why it increases uh, your speed off the floor so from there we're moving on to some accessories and I just done some close feet 
um, high up uh, leg press for some quad development as a quad movement so I kept it at 200 kilo and I just done four sets of 15 so all my accessories for the first two weeks are just going to be four sets of 15 and um, lightish weight just to get uh, a lot of volume in so I just recorded two sets here and then after this we're just going to do one I'm just going to show one set of hip thrusts and then some uh, lying hamstring curls we finished off with two calves but I didn't record calves because um I, I know myself when I'm watching uh, YouTube videos I don't really like to see people do calves it's quite boring so I didn't bother recording and um, as you can see here I believe this is about my last set and I'm just getting really exhausted at this point especially because it's only my first day back it was absolutely mental and um, especially the amount of the volume I have in on this workout but that's why I kept it uh, sort of medium to low weight and just really high reps so as you can see here we're doing some barbell hip thrust one of my favorite movements for glute and hamstrings and just overall developing uh, my deadlift and my low bar squat I find it uh, releases a lot of pressure on my back and it just really helped me along in my two uh, main leg movements and my two main strongest uh, powerlifting movements so once again 60 kilo for just four sets of 15 and from there now we're going to move on to as I said some lying hamstring curls uh, four sets of 15 as well I can't really remember their weight so um, yeah thanks very much for watching guys don't forget to like comment share subscribe and um, all my social media links are in the description and I'll see you in the next video and um, yeah goodbye for now guys